is Andy DIY. I'm changing the antifreeze on a 2009 Volvo C70. First thing you want to do is you're going to have to jack up. I've got a little drop off my driver, but I got a jack and a stand in place to get under one side so you can loosen up the uh, bottom plate down here. So you have these tor there's your Torx bolts. You should have seven of those. So you take this bottom bottom cover plate off here. The biggest trick, I've just drained my antifreeze, but before you start to get to your plug, which is on the passenger side, you want to undo your, your cap to your reservoir, which is, here's your reservoir cap here. Take that off. And you can take this tank loose. It's got a clip. It's a clip right in here. Just kind of holds it on right there. There's a clip kind of right back in here and you just kind of just, it'll just pop up off. That way you can tip it up on its side and get all the, the uh, antifreeze out of there so it drains out. Okay, so here's the, uh, the drain right here. But you turn this counterclockwise here and it's really tricky to get to. So I had to kind of make my own little tool to kind of work here or make or modify what I had. You can't really get to it because everything's in the way here. So what I did was I unscrewed this guy here this sensor here was screwed in place with a screw like that. So I took this, undid it, and moved it out of the way so I could slide a wrench up in here. And I'll show you what I what I had to make to get to. Problem is, it's got a slotted fitting on it, but it's hard to get in. You can't really, really, you can't get enough power with your fingers to turn it. Um, so you got to you got to get on it with something. So it's got a, um, a flat edge tip to get in there. So I'll show you what I had to do to get to. Because that's the tricky part is getting that to be able to uh, undo. So I took one of these fittings and I ground off about half of it down to about that size there. Then I used a, uh, a quarter inch socket here with one of these small drives. And that's my setup this to that thing. Cause this thing's just a little too long to get in. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. But that's, that's the problem. Once you can get that drain plug loose, then it's pretty much easy. So with that switch right there out of the way, you can kind of snake up through here like this. It's, so you don't knock your bit off there. You just snake it in there. Ah, I one handed it there. And that gets you in there. And that's how you'll be able to undo it. But you'll have to have a setup like that to be able to get the right torque on there. So what I'm gonna use, uh, I'll, I'll check with the different places here. Same formulation that Volvo uses. So I'm using Xerox. Zero X G zero five. Uh, this is 100%. And so basically it's gonna take, if you go with the 50-50s, it's two of these. So obviously if you take 100% of that and dilute it with another gallon of that, that's gonna give you your 50-50 and it's cheaper. This is about like 20 bucks at uh, auto parts places, whereas the 50-50s are like 18. So you can do the math on that. So I'm gonna run one of these through, just fill this one up, just let it circulate for a little while, drain it one more time. I'm not gonna bother with taking off the lower radiator hose to flush the rest out, because honestly, bubbles are a pain in the butt to work on. So I'm just gonna try to get some more of it out, and then uh, this is what my setup's gonna be going back into this. These are the tabs I was talking about to hold this thing in place. There's one right here, and the other one's right over here. And this thing just kinda, you see the hole, they just kinda crimp it down onto this piece here. And, uh, and, uh, this piece back here and that's it so i'm just lifting it up holding that make sure it all drains out i've uh, rinsed it so i let it drain for a bit um the second time after i flushed it with the uh regular just clean distilled water um it's only got out just barely over a gallon so what i did not knowing whether it's good or bad i went ahead and i cranked up the car Kept an eye on the, on the temperature gauge. I let it run for just a couple of minutes, not long, just enough to get the water pump pushing a little bit more water through. And I got out maybe another half gallon. The temperature gauge never moved, shut it back down just to get a little bit more out. So rather than pouring this whole thing in, because I think it's supposed to hold a little over two, obviously I'm not getting it all out. Um, what I did was I took half of this distilled water, poured it into a clean pitcher here, and I'm gonna take the, the Xerox and go ahead and make me a 50-50 solution. That way, as I get down to it not taking it all, I can at least make sure I'm staying with the right concentration. So uh, before I was gonna pour the whole thing in and just add this until I topped it off, but I wanna make sure I get the right 50-50 mix. So I had to do that. Uh, I'm sure you can pull the bottom radiator hose. 
and drain it even better and get more of it out but you know honestly that's just a little bit of a hassle mine really wasn't that dirty so i'm gonna do this way. i think this at least gets about three-fourths of it out but that's how i did mine so i've had it running for about 15 minutes or so i've got it up to the max line here maybe a hair more you can see the color difference it's not much but it's, this, this stuff is normally yellow mine's kind of more of a rust colored but that's basically it have a good time doing it.